The Biggest Loser is the TV show that's helping people transform their lives. This weekend, they'll be in Chicago to audition for their upcoming season. So we got Brittany Aberly, who has uh, appeared on The Biggest Loser and now a casting agent for the show, along with Chicagoland Season 14 winner Danny Allen. Guys, thanks for coming on the program today. Thanks for having us. All right, so we're going to start with Brittany, because okay. we first got to talk about uh, Biggest Loser, of course. You were on the show. Now you're working for the show. I mean, besides the weight loss, of course, how did that change your life? I mean, obviously the biggest thing is the weight loss, but it transformed my life in so many different ways because I implement the thing, the tools that I learned on The Biggest Loser to this day. I mean, it helps me keep balance, right? Every day. I mean, this morning I sh thought about waking up to work out, but I'm going to work out afterward, I right. promise. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Showing up for yourself. Danny, yes. what, what was your story and where were you at in life when all this happened? So when I auditioned to the show almost seven years ago to the day, um, it was just three months after my dad had been released from the ICU and a lot of his health concerns came from weight, um, attributed to his weight. And that was kind of my wake up call to get myself back in action. I was over 300 pounds, I was 25 years old and just needed that, you know, next step. Yeah, wow, wow. <laughs> see some oh, that was there, beautiful. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> you guys look amazing right now. So Thank good you. job to making a life change. Change yeah. is never easy. It's not though. easy, right? Especially as adults. Not easy. So <laughs> what happens with that in mind? Like, if you make it, obviously a small percentage of people actually make it on the show. If you make it, then what happens after that? Because I imagine, like, you're excited. Like, I'm going to be on this show. I'm going to be able to make a change. But then you're like, oh, I'm going to have to make a change. Right. Yeah. So what, what happens right after you find out you're going to be on the show? Right after you find out you're going to be yeah. on the show, that initial shock, and then, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, this is going to be eight hours a day. Wow. Right. Um, and, I mean, I, sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> no. Well, I just imagine it's been a, it's a long journey going through the process. Right. So right. Afterwards, yeah. do, too, they, yeah. do they take you out of your, like, uh, it, obviously, these people are in Chicago. Like, is it this based in L.A.? Do they oh, take yeah. you? Yes, yes. Like, what yes. are the next steps, yes. you know? You, you, you are removed from your home and you okay. go and you, you film and you're there for either a week or you could be there for four months mm -hmm. wow. depending on how long you are actually on the show sorry no, I think yeah. the real, no like okay. my reality was when they took my cell phone oh, <laughs> like wow. give us your electronics yeah, I about like, that. they mm -hmm. cut you yeah. off from yeah. the entire world for that time and that Selfishly, it's great because yes. all you have to do is focus. Yes. <laughs> right. So we have an audition process coming up, and it's tomorrow, obviously. And yes. you, uh, how do how do people stand out? Like, if they want to be on the show, what's their best chance of getting on? Jazz hands. Uh, yeah, jazz hands. <laughs> I would say show up, be yourself, and bring your personality and your smile. And the casting directors and myself will be there to greet you with a smile. All right, I like that, greeting you with a smile. What's the journey been like after the show? I imagine that's a whole other thing. You come back, you lose the coaches, yeah. you lose the scientists, and yeah. you gotta live that life. Yeah, life after loser um, is definitely, you know, a road. Uh, but it, I've learned so much more in the process, and I think some of the attributes that they're gonna be adding to the show. I personally got my yoga certification because that oh, was wow. something I needed for myself. I don't teach, I do every once in a while because people ask, but it was something that I needed to find for myself to continue my journey. And the first thing I did was sign up for the Chicago Marathon after the show. I didn't get in, but if you're on a new show and say you didn't get in, they let you in. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's an extra motivation right yes. when you come back. I want to know also, because change is hard for yeah. anybody, you know, and it, it, especially if you're going through something that's so outward and physical. So you guys got the physical part that's tough. We talked about showing up for yourself, but what about the mental and emotional part changing on the inside? Mm. Like, you, you have people that help you with that on the show, right? Wouldn't you say that's the hardest? Part. That, that is that's, the hardest part. That's the hardest most part. Yeah, that's show. something that everybody can relate to. That's my Everyone. point. So I guess I'm looking for advice. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm looking for a journey myself. Help, yeah. help me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's schedule an hour call later. Right. Yeah. Right. Changing on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Becoming a new person. Mm -hmm. I was I was just gonna say, I would surround yourself by the people that want to encourage that similar lifestyle. Mm. Not to say that you have to say no to anyone, but there are certain people in your life that can be somewhat toxic or bring you back into the world that you maybe tried to get yes. out of. Okay. And the more support and love that you can surround yourself by, I think is more important. You Amen know, to that. You, you want to stand up proud as an individual. John, you'll but help me. Yeah, we'll yes. hold our hands yes. and we're going to do it. Let's all hold hands here. Oh, okay. very sweet. Uh, they have a lot of Chicago people on the show because of Portillo's probably, but auditions for the new season of The Biggest Loser happening tomorrow at Hubbard Street Dance. Anyone wanting to audition must submit their application prior to showing up, so that's important. So go to blcasting.tv.